Hi guys, today I will continue to talk about emergency lighting, more exactly to do the lighting calculation for the corridor, as you can see it on this preview, and as well for the office. In the previous video related to emergency lighting, I presented how you can define a space um, related to emergency lighting. Uh, for an escape route and anti-panic. A link to this video can be found in the description of the this video. Um, having realized the general lighting for both faces, corridor and office, I will use some of the luminaires uh, for the anti-panic and escape route. Um, as emergency lighting. So in this video you should see how we can select from the general lighting a couple of luminaires, one, two, three, depends on the, how big is the space and which type of luminaire are you using, um, meaning the luminous flux and the light distribution uh, to get the necessary lux level to cover the emergency lighting. So let's jump into the situation and then I uh, move to the 2D and here we can see all the general lighting. So we want to click all eight luminaires have been uh, selected and I want to define just two already I define it as emergency lighting. So this one you can see and the other one. So these two luminaires are working as emergency lighting covering the escape route and anti-panic and you can see also with green in this case and moving to the corridor here I did not define any luminaires from uh, the general lighting so I want to do it together just to show how we can do that so I will start in this position so you need to click on that luminaire particularly and then you have this button so you have the you click on it and then it's used as emergency lighting and this sign will appear there. In addition, very nice, you can see also in real time, so to say, um, the distance that the luminaire being an emergency lighting, it, it's it's covering. So where you see it with the red, here is no, uh, let's say, emergency lighting being, being proposed or being used. So therefore, we need to, to define. So the next one, the next luminaire which I would define as emergency lighting would be this one. And here you can see automatically the area, how it's calculated. I will go again, one, let's say one luminaire for this constellation. I will not use it, one, I will use it as emergency lighting. And then of course we will do the lighting calculation just to see the, the lux level that we have obtained on this scenario. So uses emergency lighting so now we have five luminaires selected up to 10 from from the 10 so half of the luminaires are being used also as emergency lighting and here we can see that is this space will not be covered so i would say if we want to cover also this part and be okay we need to define also this luminaire as being emergency lighting to be defined Otherwise, we will have problem when we will do the lighting calculation and the results will not be um, okay. So with um, the setup being done, the luminaire, which should work also in emergency lighting from the general lighting have been chosen. And now it's just, we see here, we have the emerging lighting scene. Uh, if you click on it, you have light scene, which is the general lighting and daylight, not the case in this moment. and the emerging light scene, we will work on this one and then you just need to click on the button to run the lighting calculation. Uh, maybe if you are wondering why we have two emerging group, I want just to remind you that the first group of luminaires are covering the office space and from the eight luminaires I'm just I choose two luminaires to be used in emergency lighting mode and from the second group um, it's being used on the corridor. So from the 10 luminaires, actually, I think here I choose all by mistake. So here should be half. So here 
I didn't pay attention and now I have all the Fermines also in emergency mode which the calculator should be okay but that's too much so I would say from this 10 5 should be so I will wait to finalize the calculation and then I will just redo the, the selection of the emergency lighting I guess when I click the last one this one I didn't pay attention and I have selected all the luminous no problem I will redo it and you can see from the the entire let's say office office building on the on this first floor uh, which are the spaces which we we are treating the emergency lighting so this office and this corridor and as I said if you did not see already the my previous video related to emergency lighting where I just took care about how you define the light surface for particular space into a building building in this case this office building you will find the link um, in this this description of the current video and in addition please subscribe to my channel give a like to this video and yeah stay tuned I try to post weekly a new video related lighting design and emergency and yeah lighting design for different type of application in this case we talk today about the emergency lighting so let's wait to finalize the calculation I don't know why but it quite takes takes a while to to do the emergency lighting in this case let's hope that now we can see the results Yeah, something happened. So good. So we, here we have all the, the corridor first. Of course, I'm having a 100%. Uh, it's everything okay. So in this case, we have everything done correctly. And then for the corridors, as you can see, we have just the emergency, emergency route defined. And for the meeting room or the office building, uh, I try to go also the anti panic and also the emergency so you see both cases you see here when i click on the i'll just do the emergency you can see the desk area or what is covered with red lines um, on this uh, emergency route and then when i switch to anti-panic you see actually the rectangular so how the what is being used here we have very nice false colors where we can see the the light level and here also the the corridor when i click on it we can see the the area that is covered as i said here with half of the luminous we will still be okay so i'm sure that uh, the solution will be okay and if you go on the false colors and go on the 2d we can see here i would say the most relevant will be the meeting room because of the corridor yeah we have too much light because we are using all the luminous and what I like and I think it's good to to just emphasize once again you can have this you'll have this symbol um, on the luminar which is selected as an emergency to work also in emergency case and here I like also the symbols when you use the light output in the, both normal and emergency calculation you'll have this sign assigned to that luminar or you can have just for general lighting or normal calculation and here use this light only in emergency calculation and here as we have done only the emergency calculation we have only this sign so i hope that this information find you well and useful and once again subscribe to my channel and give a like to this video until next time i wish you all the best bye bye